So hello and welcome back to another video and this is actually about racism around the world and the country is actually most racist so here I am on Crikey and we have information that they've taken from a report in 2013 by Nicholas Bregman and they surveyed 165 countries in reference to economic freedom and the problem of racism in their countries so and it also their attitude towards the gay community and if we look at the actual report here's basically the information that's gleaned from it so if you can have a look at the all the countries around the world you see a lot of African countries they didn't actually survey, they didn't survey Bolivia or Paraguay. No, Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Afghanistan. Uh, it's like Cambodia, Laos, Burma. And quite a few other countries they didn't survey. If you look at in the Americas, you can see that racism is uh, less than 5% of people do not want to live next to someone else of another race. Venezuela, 10 to 15%. Peru, 5 to 10%. Same with Chile. Mexico, 5 to 10%. And Canada, USA, less than 5%. If we have a look at Europe, you can see that the ones that are less than 5% are Sweden, Norway, and the United Kingdom, and also Latvia, Andorra. Andorra is that little dot there. Uh, France has 20 to 30% of people don't want to live next to another person. Germany, 5 to 15%. And uh, Russia, Russia is 15 to 20% mark. So, but what you need to look at is France. Look at France, pretty high. The same with. Um, Bulgaria and Moldova and the only country in Europe that's higher is Albania so Albania is a redder colour so it's about 30 to 40% of people don't want to live next to someone of another race and obviously Greece isn't surveyed so if we look at Turkey you'll see it's for 20 to 30% same with a lot of North Africa, Somali, you know, Algeria and Morocco and then we have Egypt and Nigeria, so 20 to 30%. Uh, no, actually 30 to 40%. So Egypt, generally, they have the Nubians. Uh, they, they have a few ethnic groups, most of them um, Egyptian Arabs these days. Uh, Nigeria has definitely a lot of linguistic groups, probably about 100 or so languages. And same with Ethiopia and their... Response was actually quite different. So Ethiopia has only like 10 to 15 percent of people don't want to live next to another person of another race. And South Africa is quite low, 10 to 15 percent. You look at Australia, Australia and New Zealand less than five percent. Well, we do have a lot of people of different ethnicities, but the highest at 40 plus percent is India. When you look at Pakistan, Pakistan right next to it is actually less at 5 to 10%. So, obviously, the most racist country in the world is India, with uh, over 40% of people not wanting to live next to someone of another race. You see, Japan and China are actually less, South Korea is a bit higher. Same with uh, Vietnam, Indonesia, Singapore is low, Taiwan's low, and look, Hong Kong. It's a little pink, uh, so they're a little bit racist as well. So there you go. Oh, well, India, as well as Jordan, are the apparently the most racist countries in the world with 40 plus percent of people not wanting to live next to someone of a different race. So and then we go down to another racism 2015 study by Insider Monkeys. And list the 25 most racist countries. And if we have a look at that, 
you can see the top one is also India as well. Okay. We have countries that witness racist, race behaviour, percentage of people who don't want neighbours for another race, 43%. India is the highest. Now, Libya, obviously more racist, but less racist incidents. And you can go down to which one is low. So these were all pretty much uh, third world or second world countries. Hong Kong is probably one of the few first world countries. Nearly 20% of people don't want to leave someone. Next to a different race. And Japan. Japan is uh, pretty much... No, I'm not really surprised about this because some people like to just interact with people of their own race. Now me, I, I really don't... I'm not too concerned about other races. And if you... Go on the internet, you can really look up a lot of information on, so, World Population Review, Most Racist Countries, and you don't want to watch that video, but, I don't want the ad, oh, so many ads. Okay, so this one had India had has an explanation. India ranks as number one place in most racist country of all countries included in the study. Located in Southeast Asia it is near 1.3 billion. Okay, the most largest ethnicities in India are Tamil, Nepali, Gujarati, Bengali, Marathi. Punjabi, Malayalam, and Kashmiri descent. No, how about Hindi? These ethnic groups are all one of the original in India. Okay, so unlike countries like the USA that are founded on basic principles of cultural differences and a mixing pot, if you will, India is home to people originally from the country. Yeah, if you look at the, the countries that actually have low racism in the upper map, a lot of them had the original inhabitants displaced, like Australia, United States, uh, Brazil, uh, Chile. So the indigenous inhabitants pretty much a minor part of the population. As opposed to having a population comprised of immigrants who moved to the country from elsewhere later on in lives. And so we're talking about Nigeria, India, uh, and China, which most of the population, uh, their ancestors have been in that country for centuries. Um, and most of them for thousands of years. This details a huge contributing factor to why India has been numbered, named the most racist country over the years. Approximately 43.6% of people of all Indian who took part in the survey said they would not be comfortable neighbours who are of a different culture, ethnicities, or race other than themselves. And 64% witness discrimination. Or witness discrimination. So we're not talking about like tourists going to India. We're probably talking about a person from one part of India. So maybe they come from Nagaland. And then they went over to, I oh don't know, Mumbai. In which it, the culture and the language are totally different, so they would actually stand out from uh, the people residents of Mumbai. And it's why, so if someone from Mumbai goes to Nagaland, probably the same thing happens. So uh, they're probably viewed as an outsider, probably never will be accepted within that territory, and uh, probably the information I actually have about the people of parts of India probably pretty limited unless they actually research it themselves so anyway uh, that's very interesting findings about the discrimination so index mundi and if we have racial discrimination survey okay to see how much 
practice racism exists in a given country as perceived by residents. And as you can see, how big of a problem is racial discrimination in the country where you live? Obviously, uh, it doesn't, I don't think it matters if uh, it's wealthy or not. It depends on probably the mix up of the population. So in South Africa, racism seems to be a problem. If you go down, United States, Indonesia, uh, less than 5% of people in India think that racism is a problem. We've got Turkey, Australia. Who is on the bob bottom of this list? Oop. Rwanda. Oh, Rwanda is mostly homogenous. Uh, Tanzania has a lot of different ethnic groups, and so is Ghana. Uh, Singapore as well. So a lot of the the bottom countries are pretty homogenous. The other ones have a lot of different ethnic groups. Now Nicaragua has pretty much eliminated most of the ethnic Native American Indians. Bangladesh is mainly Bangladeshi, so in Denmark is mainly just Denmark people with a lot of immigrants. So, yeah, very interesting to view these reports. So, it's very interesting what you can actually find on Google, especially all this information. And you know, you get a lot of information that the United States is a really racist country, but when you actually look into it, uh, it's probably one of the least racist. It's just that they get a lot of news coverage. A lot of the attacks that happen in other countries from one race to another probably don't even get covered. Anyway, I'd like to know what your views are on this topic. And uh, just remember, don't be an asshole. Don't pick on someone because they're another race. Because curry is awesome.